queens! Welcome to a vlog slash day in my life slash what eat in a day. It is a Sunday. Happy Sunday. It's the Sunday after Thanksgiving and I like didn't show you guys. I didn't show you my getting ready because I literally flew out of bed and just threw this on. I feel like I kind of look like a mom right now but I'm here for it. I love it. But I need to go to Trader Joe's right now. I like don't have any food in my house. It's to the point where like I don't have anything for breakfast so like I need to go to Trader Joe's now. I don't have any coffee in my house. I don't have any bagels. I don't have any waffles. I don't have any eggs. Like we need to go. I don't even know why I'm taking so long to film this. So we're on our way to Trader Joe's first and I'll film a little bit of that and then we'll come home, have a lot of food and be really excited. So I'm excited you're here. Okay guys, JK, take back everything I said. I was like walking to my car and I was like, listen to what you preach. If you go into Trader Joe's and you're super hungry, you're gonna get really hangry and you're not gonna like actually intuitively grocery shop. You're just gonna like go in and get everything you need as fast as you can and not enjoy the process and then you're gonna get, be cranky. So I ended up just mobile ordering Starbucks when I left my house and I'm gonna go get that now we're here all right guys so i got my starbucks i got a iced chestnut praline latte with one pump of the chestnut praline stuff because i don't like very sweet coffee and then i always get light ice because you get more coffee that way and um no whipped cream just because again i'm not like a big sweet coffee person it's really good though and then i also got their turkey bacon egg sandwich this thing is so good now we're gonna head to trader joe's grocery shop and I'm excited. <laughs> All right, queens, I'm back from Trader Joe's. I got so many goodies. I was like kind of a mess in the store. I only had a little basket and I definitely had way more stuff than a little basket. But I guess I should do an unboxing, right? Okay guys, so I actually just filmed a Trader Joe's TikTok haul. So I'm actually not gonna do that. I'll just put it away and show you guys. So I got some almond milk. Got pizza sauce and pizza dough. This stuff is amazing. I always get two because these I think are $1.69 each and you can just freeze one of them for when you want pizza. It's awesome. So you guys know I have two other roommates so we share our fridge. So I have one shelf in my fridge and then like a little drawer here. So it's always like putting a puzzle together when I'm loading my stuff into my fridge. Eggs. I do have this little drawer, which is really nice. I put like my cheese in there or I'll put, like if I have a vegetable, I'll put it in there. This ravioli that I got looks so good. It's stuffed black pepper pasta with ricotta and Romano cheeses. Oh my goodness. That sounds incredible. Okay, next up we got strawberries and cream cheese for bagels, of course. Bananas, I just keep out. We have a little fruit bowl over here. I got some chips. I've never tried these barbecue popped ridges. They looked really good. So I was like, let's try them. I am addicted to these. I would take a bullet for these. <laughs> They're so good. Oh, this guy needs to go in the freezer. It's just an orange chicken bowl. I love having these in case I just have a night where I don't have time to throw together a dinner. I can literally just microwave that and it's super simple. I also got pancakes because I've been kind of craving them lately and I'm not usually the biggest fan of pancakes, honestly. Like I, I love pancakes, but I prefer waffles over pancakes like any day or like French toast. But for some reason, my body has been screaming, I want a pancake, so I got it. This is granola because I'm gonna make yogurt parfaits for breakfast for some of the mornings just because it's such an easy and fast breakfast. Bagels, of course. We love some good bagels. What else do we have? Oh, some corn tortillas. I got this English toffee, English toffee bites. They just looked really good. So I was like, let's try them. And then I have the last couple things are this blood orange Italian soda. Two of these cold brew concentrates. You just like add water to them. They're really good. And then I got this cookie jar and it just looked so fun. I just had to buy it. Look how fun. So cute, I'm so excited. And that's it, I'm just gonna put this stuff away and then we're good. My parents are currently running to my house. <laughs> so I'm gonna hang out with them for a little bit and then just get ready for the week cause it's Sunday. I completely forgot to make my bed before I left. I make my bed every single day. 
because it's something where it just automatically makes you feel more productive in your day if you make your bed. So let's do that right now. Alright guys, so it's a little bit later and I am filming a recipe video for TikTok and I figured I would just like film it for you guys to show you guys how I multitask everything. But we are using the Trader Joe's garlic and herb pizza dough, this guy, some mozzarella cheese, and then pizza sauce, all from Trader Joe's. And you can make two pizzas for less than $10 because I get two of these and you can make two pizzas. Like this can be used for two pizzas. This can be used for two pizzas. So then you just get two doughs and it's perfect. So now I need to film another segment. Once that's done, grab your dough. I think that was good. Let's walk. That was good. Okay, next up. Oh, I definitely need to take my rings off. I always forget about that when I'm making pizza. Okay, perfect. Now you just take the dough out. Whoa. All right. Now you're just gonna, I'm like, hey, hey. Okay, so now you're just gonna literally, you know, mold it into a pizza and then you'll roll it once it gets on the sheet. But for now, just literally stretch it out. Now stretch out the dough. You'll roll it once you get it on the pan, but you want to stretch it out first. This one is actually separating really well. Sometimes the dough doesn't stretch out super well and then it makes it more difficult. You have to like really roll it out on the pan, but this one's actually looking really good so far. That looks really good. I was actually able to stretch it out enough where I don't need to roll it. Now we're gonna use this pizza sauce and put it on the pizza. Sometimes I will like practice what I say before I say it in a camera because it's just, it's funny when you talk in real life, it's different than talking to a camera. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, you know exactly what you wanna say and then the camera starts rolling and you're like, well, I don't speak any words. <laughs> I'm gonna pause. I'll bring it back once we're ready to put her in. <laughs> The pizza's all ready now, so I'm just gonna put this in the oven at 475 degrees, and I usually do it for like 10 to 12 minutes. I honestly just eyeball it and watch the pizza. All right, guys, so the final product is here. So I have the cheese pizza. I made a kale salad with yellow bell peppers and Italian dressing and then some strawberries. And this is a super balanced meal, and I just listened to my body, and I honestly crave balanced meals. Like, I get a lot of questions of, do you feel bad if you don't eat a balanced meal every single day? Like, no, of course not. Now that I've gotten more into it, my body really does crave balanced meals and things like that. And I really do love kale and fruit and having pizza or pasta or, you know, whatever we're making. So yeah, that's my lunch. Hi guys, so it's been a hot minute since we last talked. I went over to a family member's house and had dinner with them. Obviously COVID safe, there was very few people there. We had been quarantining, all safe stuff, but we had Indian food. I took a video of it, so I'll have Rachel, my amazing video editor, enter it here. And then dessert, I'm having this Burgerville mint shake. I got Burgerville last night and I got a mint shake, but I didn't finish it. So I'm just gonna have the rest of it tonight for dessert. And I hope you enjoyed this what eat in a day slash vlog. I feel like it was more of a what eat in a day. I'm definitely trying to get better at vlogging, but it's kind of hard to vlog every single thing you do, you know? So I hope you have a wonderful day and oh my goodness, this is really good. Please nourish your body. Please listen to your body and please honor your hunger signals. You are wonderfully made. Cheers. See you later. Bye.